Welcome to WWP Clips. This is the official Clips channel for We Want Picks. We will be uploading our individual fight breakdown videos here. So make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our content. And as always, go to wewantpicks.com slash bets. Sign up with any one of our five betting partners. Make a deposit and we send you 50 bucks as a thank you. Next up. At UFC Vegas 58, we have Douglas Silva de Andrade, and he is taking on Saeed Nurmagomedov. Douglas Silva de Andrade is 28 and 4 overall, 3 and 2 in his last five, coming off the submission win over Sergey Morozov. Saeed Nurmagomedov is 4 and 1 in his last five, coming off a submission win over Cody Stamen. And despite the name, Saeed Nurmagomedov is not related to Khabib at all. And it makes sense if you watch him fight because Saeed is a flashy striker who uses his length really well and he'll throw kicks to your head while standing just like a few inches from you. His striking is versatile and he has an impressive 5-2 to two striking differential with an even more impressive 77% takedown defense. He's 4-1 and one in the UFC with three stoppages and only one takedown. But the highlight there is one takedown. A lot of you are going to see the last name and jump to conclusions he is not a Dagestani wrestler. He is a flashy, fun, very good striker. Douglas Silva de Andrade, 11 names and doing these graphics, was a real pain in my ass, but he's back down at 135 pounds, and he has been for a couple of fights now, and he's had some real success there. He's coming off a come-from-behind submission win over Morozov and a KO win over Gaetano Perillo about eight months ago. If you look at his record, you'll see that he has fought a who's who of former and current champions in multiple weight classes. He's a compact guy with solid boxing and a lot of power. He's had solid BJJ on the ground, but it's mostly there as a backup plan because he doesn't really initiate offensive wrestling very often. His ideal fight is a dirty boxing inside the pocket type fight. And, you know, both of these guys are very well-rounded, but this is a striker versus striker matchup, I feel like. Nurmaga Madov will have the cleaner and more versatile technique, but Douglas Silva de Andrade will definitely have more power. He's got four knockdowns in two fights. And even though he was also knocked down in that Morozov fight, he made adjustments. He went to his wrestling. He got it done in the second round. I do like Namaga Madoff here because he just sets a really nice pace. And not only does he have the nice striking offense, but he's got striking defense as well. Douglas Silva has a negative striking differential. And I see Namaga Madoff adding to that lopsidedness. So Saeed Namaga Madoff is the pick, but he definitely needs to avoid the power here. What do you think? Check your boy. Yeah, Saeed's a guy that if you want to compare him to somebody, it's like uh, is he looks like Zabit, and actually he's, he's really good friends with Zabit, so you can really tell that in probably the way that they were training and stuff because he does some wild shit, man. This dude is a wild man, and if you're on if you're on Drage in this matchup, you you can win this fight, but you have to win this fight like Hani Barcelos beat Saeed, and that is stay out of danger early. Work the legs because Saeed loves the movement, the side to side, the wild shit. He was just, he, uh, Barcelos was just eating up Saeed's leg early. And then later on, um, he basically lost that fight to Barcelos because he was doing that wild shit. Barcelos was able to catch one of those wild leg kicks late, get the takedown, and won the decision because of that. It was, it was a back and forth fight. I think the first round was for Saeed, the second round was for uh, Hani. And then Hani was able to seal the fight because Saeed did the wild shit that cost him the fight. He ended up on his back, and Hani was able to control that fight. If you're on Draj, you, you just have to wait for Saeed to make those mistakes because he will make those mistakes. And they're not necessarily mistakes, but he puts himself in bad positions with his wild shit. And sometimes that wild shit lands, and it looks flashy, just like when Zabit was doing his wild knockouts and all that wild shit. It, it, it works and it pressures people and that's how he wins fights. But if you're Andrade and you don't get too aggressive early and you stay patient and you're able to chew up those legs like Hani was able to chew up his legs, slow down the movement and maybe get some late takedowns and steal a couple rounds, you can win this fight. I don't think he's going to be able to because I think Andrade is probably going to be, he's that power guy. He's going to come in and try to, he's going to see the spinning shit and think he has opportunities and tries to lay the power early. He's probably going to get caught, but you know, Saeed is the pick. 
I, I, I have full confidence in the world that he's able to get this, jo get this job done. But Andrade definitely has a little bit of a path to victory. If he can stay patient, chew up the legs, slow down the movement, and just wait for those opportunities. Because Saeed will give you those opportunities if you wait. The problem is, once he starts doing the wild shit, people try to match that energy. And it's hard to keep up uh, against a striker like Saeed. So Saeed is definitely, definitely, definitely the pick. Um, I just think there's a slight opportunity there for Andrade to steal this decision, just like Hani Barcelos did. Yeah, I mean, Hani Barcelos is a phenomenal. He's had a little skid of him of his own there, but he's a phenomenal fighter. So uh, we're on the same side here, $7,000 to 9200 I've been saying all night there's a lot of fighters I really don't like on this DraftKings, you know, for, for this DraftKings uh, slate, but I do like Saeed, and I will probably spend the money on him uh, for my lineup. Do you like him enough? I do, yeah. Yeah, especially, I mean, Douglas was just dropped in his last fight. Against right. Maria yeah, that Marazzo. was a, uh, that, that that was like when you say like this person's tough, Andrade was tough in that last yes. fight, man. He battled back and won that fight. So hats off to him. But um, yeah, it's gonna be a tough one for him. Yeah. So we're both uh, we're aligned on the pick. We're aligned on DraftKings. I almost put a bet on him earlier as I was doing the graphics with the updated odds. I was like, gosh, should I just go do a money line bet on this guy? I'm I'm pretty confident he went. I decided not to, but uh, I may end up with a bet on him. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, Monkey Knife Eye Strike Line, 40 to 66. This I'm not going to touch this one. I don't know what to do with this one. Uh, it could be an early stoppage. So I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know what to do with it. What do you think? Uh, naked fun. Oh, here we go. Sorry about that. I got a little, a little distracted in the uh, in the chat there. I'm going to have to – let me screenshot. Let me take a picture of that real quick. Okay. Uh, what do you think of the freaking Strike Line? I think it's probably more and more. I mean, uh, uh, Douglas did show how tough he was in his last, in his last fight, so uh, I, I'll play off that toughness and go with him more and more. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not going to touch it. This will be one of the very few that I that I, uh, I won't touch, but if you guys want to check it out, weonpicks.com slash MKF. They will instantly match your deposit. And if you want 50 bucks, wewantpicks.com slash bets. Sign up, make a deposit, and we send you 50 dollars five zero as a thank you that's we on picks.com slash bets